Hello everybody, today I'm going to be walking up Rivington Pike but before I set off on the walk I've just parked up next to this little pocket of woodland and it's absolutely stunning look at all the colours a little stream down below once again it's extremely mild I've had to take the coat off because it's just too warm to wear it but it's, uh, it's really stunning I just love these walks with all of the autumn colours just look at all the leaves on the floor. I've also made another YouTube channel called James the Roma and it would mean a lot if you could subscribe to that channel uh, because I've been heavily shadow banned on this channel and because of my first videos I did, I could never be able to generate an income from this. Not that it matters too much to me, but it would be good to get a bit of an income so, you know, I could travel more places and have. I want to generate this in my full-time job with my books, with my videos, with my blogs, with my website and all of that. So it would mean a lot if you could subscribe to James the Roma, which is just going to be focused on my travel content instead of the other videos. I'm going to keep this channel for some videos as well, my travelling videos, until that one builds up. So yeah please subscribe to that one i've also had the water alongside me all of this path and it is such a relaxing sound i just love the sound of water so much i'm so connected to it love it i just absolutely love walking just anywhere, just anywhere in nature. I just love it. The smell of pine and autumn, cut autumn like, just autumn smells are everywhere. It is absolutely stunning here. Have a guess what bird that is. <laughs> Sounds like a magpie, I think. But you do get some weird squirrels sometimes making noises. I don't know. Look at these berries. I have never seen berries like this before. If anyone knows what they are, please leave a comment. Okay, so I have stumbled across some very interesting things. So, look at all these rocks here. Like, I don't know what this was exactly, this part. It looks man-made, obviously it's man-made, this part, and uh, but look at this. Now, I don't want to give a narrative once again on buildings, because knowing me, again, if you scroll through my other videos, I have uh, a lot of knowledge surrounding buildings you know, high quality, old world buildings and what they were. But this one, I think, looks relatively new compared to the ones I've been journeying to. And you have to just watch my other videos to find that out. But it is still very, very nice. Very nice. And I don't know the main purpose of it. Was it a bridge? I think it was a bridge to go across, but there's nothing left of it. It's not a bridge anymore. Well, we'll go and have a look anyway. Okay, I've changed my mind. I think that this may be one of the old world original structures. As you can see, everything's perfectly in line. It serves no purpose as a bridge because there's no need for a bridge here. There actually isn't. It's just a structure with steps leading up. It isn't a bridge. And I'm going, and look, there's colonnades with uh, there'll be iron bars enforced. It probably would be to do the electromagnetic grid, maybe. But let's have a wander and let's have a look. There is no narrative telling everybody what this structure was. Now, is there something in that that he won't not want people to know what this was? I am almost certain there's iron in here. Listen to the noise. 
See all these electromagnetic buildings, they were reinforced with iron, they're conductive. Now, I'm not certain that this is, don't get me wrong, I'm certain a lot of others are in the world, like loads, but this one, not sure, maybe 70 to 80% certain, but there's a lot of evidence. I've come up to the top here, and there's something else at the top that I'm going to have a look at I found. Oh my god, you have got to be joking me. There is another thing at the top. Another building up there with another one. Fantastic. So, we've got another structure here. It's littered with structures down here. I really did not expect that at all. I love coming across things that I don't expect. Look at this. Oh, we can go two ways. Let's choose one. Now this is interesting, this is what you would find in a castle, these slits and the water towers have them, the uh, churches have them, and there must be something to do with that grid, they all have the same designs. They all have the same designs and this is definitely been altered and ruined, definitely. There was much more to this, but please watch my other all world buildings, I explain what things like this are, it's not for this video. I could explore here for absolutely ages, and I'm going to, because I love finding things like this. It looks like there's one massive castle here at some point. It's like there's parts and ruins everywhere. Why is there nothing telling everyone what this is? My theory is that a lot of the old world structures, especially in courtyards like this, were housed water because water can be fused with electromagnetic energy. Now, I'm not going to talk again too much more about this, but all of the old world structures, and I mean all of them, had water, big parts of water in some way. Please watch my other videos to find more about what I'm talking about. Well, this is why this place is so interesting to me. Apparently there's loads of hidden paths as well, which I can't do all of them today, but this is a place where I just have to come back and explore further. This is someone over there on that path. Oh, would you look at this, another fire burned down these buildings. The same in every single building narrative that they give, because they hide the truth. Can no one see that? They start fires deliberately. Why is it so easy to light a fire for these people in the, you know, in the past? Especially when he didn't have much electrical equipment to light on fire, it would be very difficult. Great Fire of London, fires all over the buildings, churches burnt down, there's a church burnt down near me, castle burnt down, everything's just burning down. We don't get many things burning down anymore. It's ridiculous. Honestly, people need to start seeing the truth. And it just carries on and on and on this wall. Whatever this structure was, it was huge. Really huge. My hair is all over the place, so bear with me, the wind's picked up. Structures like this, I need to give you a bit of detail surrounding them, because people will be wondering, what are you talking about? These buildings all over the realm, so-called cathedrals, churches, castles, water towers, e.g. the Taj Mahal, St. Petersburg Cathedral, they were all part of the electromagnetic grid harvesting ether from the ionosphere above our heads. Now structures like this have been demolished on purpose for a variety of reasons. And this, this structure here has clearly been demolished to ruins all over the place. Now my job is to get to the truth. And I already know a lot. And this is why it's such an exciting day to be here and find this. Because it's structures like this that I know were part of something massive and they've been hidden and given a narrative to put us off track. A water network system here.
there's a noise, there's a really weird noise from the wind coming through them holes in the wall. Strange noise it's making. The chimney was put there to make this place look like it was occupied. As you can see the brickwork, the brickwork here is different to the uh, rest of the structure at the top. So you can clearly see that that was new and it's been put there, especially the plastic rubbish at the top. Ah, what would you know? A lookout tower and a pigeon tower. The same narrative as at Chatsworth House if you scroll through my other videos. <laughs> These were not pigeon towers or lookout towers. Just look at my Chatsworth House videos I explain more about all this type of stuff. See it says here, the pigeon tower remains standing today when so many of the other structures have been lost. Just like everywhere, everywhere in the world. Where have they gone? They're just being lost, so we, no one will be ever to be able to know what they were if they're not there to see. All we have is pictures and false narrative. Not pictures, sorry, I mean drawings. Now this is a absolutely fantastic thing to explain. These, this design is on nearly every one of the old world buildings. It's horseshoe shapes to carry the current in loops. Horseshoe magnet is the strongest magnet for carry for, for magnetism these were horseshoe magnets would have had iron inside this whole structure would have been designed perfectly for the electromagnetic grid look at the arc de triomphe look at all the arches all across the world again where i passed before all horseshoe shapes remember up there here is another one horseshoe shapes some work going on inside there. Forest down below. Got some visitors now as well. This was no doubt the only lake here at this place. Like the narrative says, there's plenty of areas where I've seen that water would have been housed. There's just too many to look at. There's another path that goes up there. There is another you know, one of those uh, horseshoe magnet buildings down there. There's another one on the left hand side here. It's worth just a whole day just to explore this bit. Never mind walk up Rivington. Another one here. Right, so I'm resuming my walk to the pike after a massive diversion that I didn't expect and a good diversion at that. But I'm gonna first stop for a brew soon. I need a drink. Wow, look at this. The Japanese lake. Again on the site, very near the site that I've just been on. See, I told you there were so many more bodies of water here than they tell us. It's a little waterfall up there as well. Okay, so I'm going to have my cup of tea, sat looking at the Japanese lake. Can you get any better than this on a Thursday morning? Another half mile down and some more ruins. Just shows how big this place was. Rivington Pike. It's very windy now again, but at least I can see something on that like Pendle Hill. I was thinking of going to the uh, antenna over there, not too far away, looks away from the camera for some reason. But uh, the trail looks extremely muddy and I've not got the right footwear. I'll have to look after, but I probably won't be able to do that one today. It's not too much of a distance from here. I was only planning to do this anyway. Uh, we'll have a look after. Let's just stay here for a bit. We're going to have lunch here.
That quote on that bench was actually very interesting. For action is the life of all. And if, if thou does not act, thou does nothing. Now I've been thinking a lot about that recently and about action when it comes to planning. Now we can plan all we want, but if we don't put action into things, we'll get nowhere. Action is the last part of manifesting the reality you want, but it's the vital part. It's the last part, but the most important part. It's the only part where you can actually get to where you want to go. The area around Rivington is absolutely covered in woodland. Oh my God, there's a deer looking at me. Oh my God. Oh my God, the good, I just happened to look there right then. So everybody, that was an incredible experience today. Fantastic walk, seeing some amazing things. I've really enjoyed it and I hope you have uh, enjoyed watching it. So I'll see you on the next video. I love this realm. <laughs>